it's as much as it's it's having an impact today i mean it's almost a limited uh unlimited potential going forward um my company ring central has invested in ai we've actually bought a couple of companies uh that are ai specific so that we can transcribe these video calls we can provide ai enhanced uh meeting summaries um we can do a lot of things on the analytics front um, that make us stand out in the marketplace. But as a sales leader, I, of course, try to adopt as much Ring Central technology as I can on the contact center side and, and the unified communications front. But there's many areas of AI in the, in the process. And, you know, my, in our partnership with Aviso, we kind of started with just uh, organizing the funnel and really understanding where deals are in the process, what's our velocity, and where should we be feeling confident and following up? And then where should we really inspect? I mean, as we've scaled the business, right? Remember I started, it was a $300 million company. Now it's over 2 billion um, and still growing at 20 plus percent. Uh, that's more than you can just know in your head. Like when I started enterprise, I didn't really need AI. I knew all the skills um, that we had and and what needed to be done. I had a sense. I was the executive sponsor on probably 80% of them, but that's just not possible uh, in today's environment as we've scaled up the business. So I really appreciate kind of really understanding what's going on in the funnel, making sure my sales folks are being disciplined, pipeline values and, and dates are accurate. And most importantly, where can we actually improve execution? Where can we uncover that, hey, we don't have an executive sponsor on this stage two deal. And we know without executive sponsorship, our win rate goes down significantly. Like, how do we remediate that? Conversely, when we get a POC, our win rate goes up a ton. How do we make sure we're taking advantage of that and moving it along? So um, I think uh, I was on with the Aviso team last week. I think we're just kind of using like uh, scratching the surface and there's a lot more that we can do to kind of drive throughout the process, including, you know, intelligent coaching on conversations and AI that way, right? And really seeing what our folks are talking about, understanding the emotional inflection, understanding the customer responses, and being able to coach off of real uh, conversations, off of real uh, things in the sales process versus just what is self-reported in uh, Salesforce, which is then rolled up uh, via the Avisa view.